so both of these worksheets have the same concept, so I'm only going to show you one. Alright, when you first get this, you want to copy the value scale. Just like always, start off on the back of your pencil. Okay, now that I have my value scale established, I want to draw the general shapes going on here. And you can use grid method if you want. You could try and freehand it, but we're still learning, so you can use grid method. You could either measure a precise grid using a ruler, or you could kind of ballpark it by doing halves. So if the half of this is right there, draw a line, draw a line, and then half of this. Now go a little bit further, half of this, half of this. So now I have 16 boxes to handle. I'm going to start by drawing the outline of the paper. It has solid lines except the leaf pops out right here. So it starts in this corner, dips down a little bit, pops up a little bit where that leaf is, dips down again, pops up in the corner about halfway. So I already have the basic shape of my paper. Now I want to think about these paper flowers and the kind of shape they are. So I see a circle going on for each of them. And you'll notice I'm not drawing darkly with the pencil. I'm being very light because I may change my decisions. I want to see how it looks first before committing. Plus, there's not a whole lot of dark values going on in here anyways. The darkest value is probably underneath this flower right here and under here. So I don't need to be pressing down hard on my pencil anyways. So at this point I want to double check and see, did it look right? Did I maybe make my leaves too fat? I actually do think I made, in particular, that leaf kind of too fat, so I'm actually going to... So now at this point, I know where my general shapes are and it's just about details and shading. So at this point I should erase my grid down here. Because I don't want that grid showing up in my final drawing because that'll be a distraction. I'm going to start in on more of the details of the flowers. I see a little oval here that gets a little bigger, a little bigger. Really, it's just a bunch of lines. So I have my details. Now I'm going to go into value and shading. I'm going to go ahead and shade the paper all over first. To use paper, part of the paper towel to blend. I don't want to use my finger because my finger has oil in it and that'll mess up my paper. You can actually see the eraser mark from where I erased my grid earlier. I'm going to go a little bit darker. I see a shadow here, so I'm going to try and get that shadow real quick. And the shadow of the paper. So now I'm going to go in and do more value. Because the brightest parts on here are this guy, that guy, these two. But other than that, nothing should really be paper white. Everything else should have some kind of value on it.
And after you've worked on it for a while, actually hold it back from you, like far away, to inspect it and see if there's anything you'd like to change. I'm noticing that my big flower seems kind of squat, so I should make it poop a little bit more. I can do that just from erasing. But this is just the general idea of this worksheet. You're practicing value. You're not worrying at every little detail. You just want good placement and good value. Don't have to copy this background value. I mainly want you to get the relative value of the paper correct. So it actually looks like I need to go a little bit darker. Much better.